All right, BFit Nation, welcome back to a workout Wednesday edition here, Wednesday edition here for our BFit Live segment. So get settled in here. We have a great full body, um, <laughs> full body workout program for you today, okay? So once again, uh, get settled in. Welcome to BFit Live, our workout Wednesday edition. I'm a BFit Ambassador Roy Montes, and I am joined for my, with my partner, my workout partner, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you today, ma'am? Hey, good morning. I'm good. Ready for some Wednesday workouts? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. And so I hope everyone's had a great start to their week. This is our midway check. This is a great time to check on ourselves, check on our health, our wellness, and our fitness uh, for the remainder of the week, pushing us through to the weekend for a nice, strong finish, okay? So we have a um, total body resistance-based workout for you today or a body weight workout, whichever you have access to. So if you have dumbbells, if you have kettlebells, if you have bands available to you, go ahead and grab those now. And as you, we go through these movements, as I demo these movements, you can choose whether you want to scale up uh, with weight or keep with that body weight, okay? Um, I will be demoing with body weight. So uh, I know Senior Master Sergeant Barry has uh, resistance available to her. So uh, once again, BFIT Live, our timing for today is going to be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds and four exercises throughout those rounds with one minute rest in between each round. Okay, once again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four rounds, one minute rest in between each round. I'll go ahead and demo each exercise, each movement uh, that are gonna be included within one round uh, just before uh, the workout. We'll also get into some dynamic stretching. That way we can get our bodies prepared and ready to work to put in the work for our workout. Then we will jump into the workout as well. So with that, um, let me go ahead and dial in here. Uh-huh. As I hear myself, once again, welcome to BFIT Live. If you're new to the program, we are here every week, okay? So we are here to uh, move with you, to encourage you, to push you, and to work on our fitness and our health and wellness every step of the way, week by week. So with that, I'll go ahead and demo the movements for today. And then we can jump into some dynamic stretching. All right. So exercise number one, we are going to stand at the back of our space here, or actually the front of our space here. So wherever your workout space is, we don't take up a lot of room here, but we are going to drop down into a half squat position. So find that range here. If this is standing, and if your squat is going to be down at that 90 degree, go ahead and drop about halfway into that squat. So you're in that half squat stance, right? We are loaded up. Those quads are going to be firing up. Those glutes are going to be firing up with that half squat isolated stance. From there, we are going to keep that chest up nice and proud. Head is looking straight ahead. Shoulders are rolled back through our comfort. We are going to extend back into that reverse lunge, right? Loading up that front leg, making sure that knee is tracking over the front of your toe, okay? From there, extend back up to that half squat position. So that in those knees should be at a more than soft bend all the way through this movement. Extend far back with that reverse knee. All right, you'll find that that knee is going to meet that 90 degree angle and is going to hover above the floor, right? Back into that half squat stance and then reverse lunge, okay? So we're gonna be here for 40 seconds. Take your time with this movement because it does burn, all right? We are gonna wake up and fire up those quads, those hamstrings and those glutes with that movement. All right, second movement on deck here, we have a T push-up. okay? So we are gonna drop down onto the floor. <clears throat> We're gonna get into that high plank position, okay? High plank, so a couple of key points here to keep in mind, that hand is gonna track directly underneath that shoulder for the most support, right? So you want a straight line from that wrist all the way up to that shoulder, high plank position, meaning that back is going to be flat. That head is gonna be in alignment with that spine all the way back to those heels, okay? Once you're in that high plank position, think about that footwork, okay? So think about a shoulder width apart or a little wider if you want more stability, all right? Dropping down into that push-up, try to get that full range of motion all the way down to the floor. From there, extend back up, rotate 
up that finger. All right, we want um, our hand to track to the ceiling here and our gaze is gonna track on our fingers here. Back down onto the floor, extending back up, rotating opposite hand, all right? Opposite hand left, opposite hand right. So we'll go down to that push up, making that nice tall T, right back down into that push up and alternate left arm and right arm. That's gonna be exercise number two. <clears throat> number three, we are back up to the standing position because we are gonna to go to the back of our space now. We wanna do a forward lunge, but we are gonna include a pulse. Just like the half squat here, we wanna be mindful that when we forward lunge, dropping that rear knee down, it hovers over the floor. Try to make that 90 degree bend here with that forward leg, that knee is gonna be tracking over that front of that toe. If you are too far forward, Let's shift those hips back and down, okay? We wanna make sure that we are comfortable here. So wherever your comfort level may be, if it's as far down as myself, that's good to go. If we are here at a soft, soft lunge, that's perfectly fine too. Let's roll with that, okay? So we have a forward lunge. Once you're in that lunge position, add a pulse and then extend right back to your back of your space. So forward lunge with a pulse and then back to standing position. Forward lunge with a pulse, back to standing position. So we are working our legs to the max today. And the last and final exercise to round out our four exercises here is going to be a few plank variations, okay? So just like we were in that T push-up, we are gonna drop down onto the floor here. We are gonna start off with a low plank position, meaning our elbows are gonna be on the floor. So elbows, tracking underneath our shoulders into that high plank position. Our back is flat, our hips are square to the floor here. Nice, strong stance here with that low plank. After that, round two and three are gonna be side plank positions. So we are gonna get onto our side. Once again, that elbow right underneath that shoulder. You want that relatively straight line from your neck, your head, all the way down to your heels, okay? Keeping that core nice and tight nice and engaged and think about that aerial view to be in a line as well, okay? Two and three will be left side, right side. And that final fourth round will be a high plank. So we will get onto our hands and hold our high plank position, okay? That's gonna round out four rounds, four exercises, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, one minute rest in between each round to recover, rest, rehydrate, towel off, and then we will complete all four rounds, all right? How does that sound? <laughs> all right, BFit Nation, we are gonna start off with some dynamic stretching just to get our bodies right real quick before we jump into the workout, and then we can cruise along to our workout, all right? Um, again, if you have any resistance, go ahead and grab that as well. If you have any bands, go ahead and grab those as well. But let us know where you're watching from, leave a note in the comments, Thank you so much, Molly. Thank you for joining us here. Sounds great. Let's get to work, all right? Most of all, let's have fun while you're doing these movements. So um, let's go with some dynamic stretching here, all right? We're gonna start off first at the back of our space here with a quad stretch here. So we're gonna take that right leg. We are gonna extend it back. We're gonna take that left hand. We are going to extend it up. Think about pushing those hips forward, feeling that stretch in your hip flexors, your psoas region, that front quad. We're gonna be here for 30 seconds. So go ahead and alternate left leg and right leg. After that left arm goes down, grabs that left leg, that right arm goes up. Good, keeping that, those hips square, taking your time as needed or pick up the tempo as needed. Okay, 30 seconds here. Let's go at our own pace, kind of feeling out our bodies. This is a great time to scan your body to figure out where we are tight, all right? Figure out where we need a little additional focus on. Let's go ahead and open up into some lateral lunges here. Nice wide stance here. Feet are gonna be fixed, just facing forward here. We are going to shift our weight over to our left, feeling that stretch in the inside of your thigh here and shifting our weight over to our right or left and right here. Be mindful to keep that chest up so we don't want to face the floor here. We wanna face each other. <laughs> Good, nice, non-aggressive shift from left to right. 
Good, taking your time here. Once again, feeling out where you may need some additional attention if those hips are tight. If you've been sitting for a long period of time, go ahead and feel that out. 30 seconds here coming to an end. All right, let's go back to some reverse lunges with a reach. So we're gonna to come to our top of our space here. We're gonna take that right leg. We are gonna extend it as far back as we can to our comfort level. Drop down to that reverse lunge, hands come together and reach over, okay? With that, you'll feel a little bit of that stretch in that hamstring and that hip flexor here. With that reach over, you're gonna feel some shoulder mobility work, some blood flowing there, some lats stretching from the left and to the right once you reach over. Hands together and reach. Don't forget to breathe here. Good, good, good. Continue on, continue on. Christy, good to be with you here. All right, thanks for joining us. Good to see you here. Thank you for joining our BeFit Live program. This workout Wednesday, it's a great day to have a great day and push through your week. All right, team, let's go into hip circles here. All right, we're gonna take that right leg. We are going to rotate it back and then rotate it forward. Once again, hips are going to be imperative with some of these movements here. So it's important that we warm up our hips and our lower body as well as everywhere else, but good. Nice and controlled here, really pushing some blood flow, really warming up those joints. Again, if we've been sitting for a long period of time, this is a great time to warm up this body. Good. Last two, last one. All right, team, let's go into some YTWs here. Let's loosen up that mid to upper back and those shoulders here. We're gonna take a nice strong stance. We're gonna make a big Y with our arms here. Big Y coming up, feeling that stretch from left to right, back to center here. Make a nice big T here. You wanna stretch as far as you can, feel those shoulder blades come together. All right, back to W here. Again, shoulder blades and shoulders here. Feel a little bit of blood flow there. Back to center. Nice big Y extending out a little higher than the last time. Good, back to T. Nice strong stance. Back to that W. Be mindful of that breathing. Good, last rep here, last set, big Y. Good, back to T. There we are. Last W here to round out our dynamic stretching sequence. All right, team, we are good to go. Let's go ahead and hydrate. Make sure you have water on deck for you here during this workout. Stay hydrated, please. All right, take breaks as needed. Push yourself, challenge yourself, but most of all, to your comfort level and have fun as we do these movements, okay? All right, Lorena, good to see you here. All right, thanks for jumping in with us. All right, Sergeant Barry, looks like she's getting ready. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, let's start our timer here. We have a half squat with reverse lunge coming up. All right, as I get our timer started. All right, and once again, the timing for today, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four exercises, four rounds, one minute rest in between each round, 10 seconds on the clock here. That half squat to reverse lunge is on deck. If we have resistance like dumbbells, go ahead and front rack them, okay? Meeting your shoulder and let's start team forward, reverse lunge here. So half squat here, keeping those quads nice and engaged for 40 seconds here. Take your time with this movement or speed up the tempo depending on your comfort level. 24 seconds left here, take your time, good work. Challenge yourselves, making sure that our chest is up nice and proud. That head is looking straight ahead here. We want those knees to track over the front of those toes, right? So sit those hips back, sit those glutes back. Okay, last five seconds here. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job team, 20 <laughs> seconds of rest here. Absolutely, ma'am, absolutely. I see it pushing here. 14 seconds of rest here, and we are down on the ground for those T push ups, okay? Be mindful of that hand right underneath that shoulder, high plank position, rotating up, taking your time with this movement. We are up in three seconds here. Two, one, here we go, team. Let's work. 
Be mindful of those foot placement as well. A little wider than shoulder width apart. Closer your feet are to each other, the less stability you will have. A little bit wider if you want more stability. Closer they are, more challenging it'll be. 20 seconds here. Take that rotation nice and slow if you need to scale back. Let's go ahead and come off of our knees here for that push up. Then try pushing up into that high plank and rotating. Last seven seconds here. Out in five. Last three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds here. Good job, team. Good job. How are we feeling? How are we doing? 12 seconds here. We have that forward lunge with a pulse coming up. Good, good, good. I see us here. I see us. Christy, Molly. Good. Let's keep it up, team. Two, one, forward lunge with a pulse coming up. Here we go, team. Back of our space here. Forward lunge. Add that pulse in and back to standing position. Good. Forward lunge. Add that pulse. Back to standing position. If you have resistance, if you have dumbbells, you can rack them up top, just like extra movement number one, or you can have your palms facing you off to the side and straight down. Last 12 seconds here. That pulse really gets us here. Good job team. Chest is up nice and proud. Last five seconds. Out in three, two, one, and time. <sighs> Good job, team. Good work. Good work. Good work. Our plank variations are coming up next. All right. We are on that low plank position. If you have a mat, now's a great time to get on that mat. In three seconds here, we have that low plank hold. Two, one. All right, team. Let's go. Low plank position. Think about that flat back. That head is going to be neutral. Those hips are going to be square to the floor, right? Try not to dip. Keeping that back flat. Wherever your hips are right now, raise them one inch. <laughs> 20 seconds left here. Push back through those heels, keeping that core tight. Last 10 seconds here. Keep holding. Seven, out in five, team. Last three, breathe. Two, one, and time. Good job. 40 seconds flies by. I know we have one minute rest here. So first round is complete and in the books. We don't have to worry about that one again. All right, let's go ahead and continue to move here, right? Feel out, first round we learned it. Second round, we will own it and crush it, okay? So let's see if, are we tight anywhere? Now's a great time to analyze and reevaluate where we are physically to get ready for the next round, okay? Good, if you have resistance, now's a great time to think about scaling up in that resistance for, state, for exercise number one, for exercise number three with those lower body movements, team. Finish grabbing that water, we have 15 seconds left here. And then we're jumping into that half squat with reverse lunge, up in 10. All right, team, here we go, in five. Coming to the front of my workout space here, two, one. Let's work, team, round two. Down into that low squat position, reverse lunge, back to low squat, back to reverse lunge, keeping that chest up, nice and proud, nice controlled movements here to our comfort level. If we are at a half squat or above that, perfectly fine. Good. Last 15 seconds here. Keeping those quads engaged the whole duration of our 40 seconds. Last seven seconds here. Good. Make sure to breathe. Add in three, two, one. Time. 40 seconds of work complete. Good job, team. Good job. T push ups up next. Good work. Good work. Good. Good. Molly, you're doing great here. Up with those T push ups in three seconds. Two, one. Here we go, team. High plank position, dropping down into that push up. Rotate out and make sure that gaze follows that finger. Those fingers. <laughs> All right, team. Rotation, follow that hand. Good. Nice controlled movements here. With resistance, let's think about controlling, 
Controlling that weight, controlling those movements. 15 seconds left. Deep breath in on the way down. Deep breath out on the way up. Good. Try to keep those hips square. Last five seconds. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good work, team. Good work. 20 seconds of rest here. Good job. <sighs> Sergeant Barry, how are you feeling, man? Good, good. I'm really feeling it in my shoulders. All right. Three seconds here. We have that forward lunge with a pulse coming up. Here we go, team. 40 seconds on the clock. Forward lunge. Add that pulse. Add that resistance as well. Dumbbells can be off to the side or racked up like Sergeant Barry in that front rack position. With that pulse from wherever the bottom of your lunge is, it's a few inches up, let's say two to three, right back down and then pushing back to standing position. Good, out in 10. Last six. Out in three, team, you got it. Two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here. We are on our side here, side plank position. Let's go to our left side. We are down in 10 seconds here. I know, minimal rest here. Minimal rest keeps that heart rate elevated. We are on our left side here. Up in three, two, one. 40 seconds on the clock, team. Let's work keeping that side plank nice and tight. Remember that elbow is going to be directly underneath that shoulder. Think about your breathing here. Relatively straight line from your head down to your heels. Engage those glutes as well. Nice and tight, last 15 seconds. Good, breathe, breathe, breathe out in 10. Raise those hips just a little bit more. Last five seconds. Out in three, two, one, and time. <laughs> Be Fit Nation, how are we doing, team? How are we doing? As I crawl up here. Ah, good job. Good work, team. Round two in the books. Good job. All right, team. We have less than 30 seconds here. Let's go ahead and check. Any questions for us? Any questions? You're welcome so much. All right. Molly, thank you for helping us stay fit, be fit. Absolutely. That's what we're here for every week, okay? We're here as one community here, one team, one fight, here to help us mentally, physically, and just overall our wellness, focusing on our wellness here, okay? Taking a little bit of time for ourselves, all right? Half squat with that reverse lunge coming up in five seconds. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, half squat. Here we go, team, 40 seconds on the clock. Back into that reverse lunge. Again, keeping those quads activated at all times by bending those knees, okay? At that half squat position, wherever that may be at for us. All right, looks like you lost me here. All right, team. Let me re-engage. Last 15 seconds. Good job. Can I fit you here? Out in seven. Last five. Three, two, one. Good job. Way to keep up. 20 seconds of rest here. And we are on the floor for those T push-ups. 15 seconds here. A little bit of an adjustment here. Now you know it's live. Up in five <laughs> seconds with those T push ups. Two, one. Here we go, team. High plank position here, down into that push up, extending up, rotation. Eyes follow your fingertips as you gaze up to the ceiling. Push up, high ceiling. High ceiling. <laughs> All right, 25 seconds on the clock left. Good. Feel free and speed up the tempo to your comfort level here. Out in 15. Good, good, good. Keep those hips square to the floor. Flat back, last seven. Two more reps here, five seconds. Last rep here, three, two, one. 
and time. Way to finish that one out, team. Not an easy one, way to finish that one out. All right, forward lunge with a pulse. Good job, good job, Sergeant Barry. Thank you, thank you. There we go, five seconds left. Forward lunge with a pulse coming up. Three, two, one. Here we go, team, forward lunge with that pulse. Back up to your standing position. Forward lunge, pulse. Be mindful of that mind to muscle connection. All right, and front knee tracks over the front of that toe. Think about that quad, that front leg extending out, raising up, lowering, and then pushing you back from the front of your heel. Last 10 seconds. Remember to keep that chest up nice and proud. Head is looking straight ahead. Shoulders back. Try not to bring those shoulders forward. Last three seconds here. Two, one, and time. Good job, good job. How are we doing? How are we doing, BFit Nation? 12 seconds here, and we are into our side plank right. Side plank right, up in two, one. Get down really quickly. Here we go, team. 40 seconds on the clock. We are holding that side plank position here. Once again, our elbow is gonna track directly underneath our shoulder, relatively straight line here from our neck down to our heels, not only from the frontal plane, but also from that aerial view. Try not to hit that V, keeping those hips square to the front of us. Out in 13, chest is up, I see us. Out in 10, raise that arm if we need to balance. Looking up at those fingertips once again. Out in five, four, three, hold it, two, one. Good job. <laughs> All right, team, one minute rest here. One minute rest. We've made it through three rounds here. Three rounds, y'all are crushing it. I see you, I see you. Good job, good job. William, next week, we will be here next week. We will be here on Monday. Absolutely, if that's your question. If not, go ahead and drop that question below. 30 seconds left here. <sighs> Let's capture and bring that breathing back down under control here. Think about that breathing, rehydrate here, towel off. Get ready for that last and final set. Last set, best set, here we go. Sergeant Barry, isn't that right? That is right, best set right here. Yes, ma'am, you've heard it. Five seconds yes. here, we are in that half squat with that reverse lunge. Here we go, two, one, get started here. Let's go team, half squat, reverse lunge. Good. If you're scaling up like Sergeant Barry, front rack position with those by, with those dumbbells. Even if they're kettlebells, rack them. <laughs> 20 seconds left here, taking our time, going at our, our comfortable tempo. Good, out in 12, chest is up, nice and proud. Last seven, out in five team. Last three. Two, one, and time. 40 seconds in the books. Last time you will see that movement today, okay? 12 seconds of rest here, and we are down on the ground for those T push ups. Last and final time you will see those today. Five seconds, team. On the floor here. Two, one. Here we go, team. Nice, strong stance here. Think about that foot placement a little wider than shoulder width apart if we need. Dropping down, those hands should meet the middle of our chest, elbows tracking close to our torso, but in about a 45 degree angle, 20 and out. Our gaze is tracking the, those fingertips as they raise to the ceiling. Good job team, stay with us, out in 10. Scale down to our knees if we need. Let's keep moving, out in five. Last three, last rep, one, and time. Ooh, good job. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Let's come to the back of our space here. We have that forward lunge with a pulse coming up in eight seconds. Good job, finish this out, take us home here. We are up in three, two, 
One, grabbing that resistance. Here we go. Forward lunge with that added pulse and back to standing position. Forward lunge with that pulse. Good. Nice controlled movements here. 20 and out team, 20 and out. Think about that breathing cadence. Good, good, good. Chest is up nice and proud. Those shoulders are rolled back. Out in 10 seconds, last 10 seconds here. Way to work. Quads are on fire today. Out in three seconds team, last rep here. Two, finishes out, one. Good, good, good. All right, 15 seconds of rest here and we have our last final plank variation, all right? Let's go into that high plank position, okay? High plank position in five seconds. We are down on the floor. Three, two, one. Here we go, team. Hold that high plank position here. All right. Hold that high plank position. Halfway through. If you feel that we can touch our toes into a plank, high plank toe tap, let's do it, team. Here we go. Midway coming up in 20 seconds right now. So right hand meets left foot. If we can reach back to that left foot, let's do it. If not, hold that high plank, okay? High plank, keep holding team. Out in five seconds, hold that breath. Three, two, one, time. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Good job team, good job. I'm a little lower this time. <laughs> All right, on that camera angle. Good job. Well done. Well, the way to finish our BFIT live program. Once again, we are here every week, normally on Mondays, but we have a special workout Wednesday for you this week. Okay. So, just to recap today, we did four rounds. We did 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off with one minute rest in between each round. That limited amount of rest really helps to elevate that heart rate and keep it elevated, okay? So although we didn't do um, many, uh, let's say plyometrics or jumping or um, things of that nature, with the minimal heart, uh, minimal rest periods, we were able to keep our heart rate elevated, in turn, burning those calories, keeping our bodies moving, keeping our bodies running, just like a car, right? Just running that body through this uh, 30 minute worth of a workout. So great way to start off, I guess, our midweek push here and way to stay with us through our BFIT Live. All right, I see Sergeant Barry right here checking in. How are you doing now? How is the workout for you? Yeah, it was great. And you're right, my heart rate was definitely sustained in that one. And then about like after the first set, I was like, maybe I shouldn't do the resistance, but I started, so now I gotta finish. And, but now I, I'm happy because I got, you know, got the arms, arms taken care of too. So it was, absolutely. But they're yes, sore. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> My shoulders are sore. <laughs> <laughs> Such a great uh, mindset and a great attitude. I love that you started with resistance and you said, well, I'm going to finish with resistance. I mean, that's, that's what it's about starting what you finished. You showed up here and you may not have been at your strongest as you showed up to our BFIT live program, but it's just seeing it through seeing it through, pushing yourself through, whether you completed all of the time or not, just seeing it through, seeing it through. And these little bit of uh, challenges and these little bit of changes in the mindset can really help progress you week by week. And before you know it, that 40 seconds of work that was tough today uh, could be a very easy, you know, coming up in the next few weeks, the next few months ahead. So absolutely, it's all about that mindset. Just like Sergeant Barry said, you know, I started something, I'm going to finish it. And that's what it's all about. So again, BFIT Live, our exchange uh, fitness program coming to you from anywhere, whether you're in a uh, home setting like Sergeant Barry, or whether you're in a different setting like myself, whether you're outdoors, uh, you're able to take these on the road with you. And all of our workouts from this year and uh, through last year. <laughs> so we are coming up on our year, year anniversary in a few in a few months that we've been hosting our BFIT Live workouts to you. So every workout proudly has been programmed differently. So if you're looking for a change, if you're looking for a bit of a challenge, if you're looking to adapt new movements, do new routines to your workout regimen, go ahead and follow 
under our Facebook page under videos and then follow the playlist be fit okay look under that be fit playlist you will find our extensive catalog logged full of our previous workouts for you to take on the road or at home stream on your phone or your home device of choice <laughs> so um yes I hope you enjoyed it let me let me just make a a, a final call here um yes William Good, 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 good. Thank you very much. 30 minute workouts. Absolutely. Uh, Navy retired. Welcome, William. We're happy to have you here. Molly, I appreciate, we appreciate you joining us on our BFIT Live. Um, let's see, let's see. I know I'm very close right now to the camera. <laughs> Lorena, thank you so much for joining us again uh, for our BFIT Live programs. We're here every Monday. Um, so we're here to help you, uh, encourage you, and to motivate you. Uh, week by week. So we're here again as a community, as our BFIT Live Exchange community. Uh, Sergeant Barry, any last words? I know you spoke, but any last words before we sign off? Just enjoy the rest of your week, Roy. And thanks again. Yes, yes ma'am. Absolutely. Everyone uh, signing off here. Enjoy the rest of your week. Way to start off and a uh, way to keep up through the Wednesday and finish off strong. Roy Montes, our BFIT program, signing off.